will start test what this will do is speak out your intents that you've added in the speak block and then it goes to choice block so i have to say go once i say go what will happen is it will read out the response from this block that we've used and once you've once you've pretty much achieved this what you can also do is link this to another speak block and then ask the user if he wants state-wise data so in this video i'm going to show you how to create a alexa scale you can also use the same uh, flow to create a google action as well what we will be doing is uh, we'll be using an api fetching the data from an api and then let make make alexa speak out the data for us what the tool that we are going to use for this tutorial is called voice flow voice flow allows you to design prototype and build voice based applications essentially for both alexa and google there is absolutely no coding requirement for this so this is one of the best no code tools out there in the market to create alexa skills so the first step is for you to create an account once you have an account you can use google to sign in or use your email to sign up you have to create a project i'm creating a project called covid 19 india stats the api that i'm going to use is an api that gives me covid 19 stats of india so i'm just selecting india region as the language as well and once i click create project it will create a basic template for you with a start block and you can build start building from here so the first step is for alexa to tell the user instructions when let's say the user invokes the alexa scale using alexa covid open covid 19 stats india stats so the first step is alexa will respond to the user saying hello um to get today's stats of covid 19 in india say go so essentially what we're doing is we are asking the user to say go to start the flow of this application so i'm just linking the start block to the speak block and then now we are here waiting for the user to say go and if the user says anything other than go we have to handle that as well so what we will do is use the choice block from the left i'm just dragging and dropping it linking the speak block to the choice block and here the the first path is see for the user to say go so i will say go and create it and the alternates for go can also be okay if the user decides to say okay we will still get the data and show it to the user and from here there is an else block if the user says something other than go or okay we'll repeat the first statement itself right so i'm just clicking on else and linking it back to the first speak block so this is the flow and then if the user says go or okay what we'll do is we'll fetch the data we'll, we'll be using an api called api.rootnet.in shout out to the contributors and creators of this api so we'll be using the case counts api so you all you have to do is copy the link of the api and then we'll be using a integrations block so i just click drag and drop the integration block and say i'm using the custom api integration and then i enter the url here and now what we'll be doing is get the total cases count and also the total deaths count for the sake of this example and from under the summary array so the simplest way to do this is once you have the url in the request url column just click on test request and make sure you copy the path of the data that you want specifically so i click on this and this copies the path so what i'm going to do now is uh, and enter the path here and create a new variable to store the value under this so total death count sorry this one is total cases so 
I'll just rename it to total cases. And now the total cases value is stored on the total cases. And we'll also create another additional one to store total deaths. So the object path again, you can click on test request and copy it directly. Just click on this so that you copy it and enter it here. And that should be it. So you're basically getting the data from this API and storing it in two variables. Now Alexa has to speak those out for the user. So the first thing that we will do is connect the success from the choice block to the integrations block. And from here, we'll create another speak block where Alexa is speaking out the values. Today's count for COVID 19 in India are as follows. We'll add a quick break of about one second. And then we'll make Alexa say total cases are you just open a curly brace and then type total underscore cases and automatically the number will be used by Alexa to speak out and total people and the number of people who have succumbed to the virus are total underscore deaths. With that, I am also linking the integration block to the speak block and if the API fails, what we will also do is uh, quickly create another speak block and if the API does not work, something went wrong, please try again. Make sure the API works, otherwise it'll go into the fail block. So this should be good enough. What we will do is, uh, if you don't have your account, Amazon developers account link here, it'll ask you to link the Amazon developer account. And once you've done that, upload to Alexa will basically upload the skill to Alexa. And to just to test this, if it is working properly or not, what you can do is go to the prototype tab and click on start test. What this will do is speak out your intents that you've added in the speak block and then it goes to the choice block. So I have to say go. Once I say go, what will happen is it will read out the response from this block that we've used. And once you've once you've pretty much achieved this, what you can also do is link this to another speak block and then ask the user if he wants state wise data and fetch that data using another integrations block or even the same block and so on and so forth. So this is how you quickly build a scale. And once you're done with building the entire design, the entire scale, what you can do is come to the build section and add the display name for your scale and upload icons for it, add the description and all the other details, add proper keywords so that it is discoverable, add the invocation name and the languages. Ideally, I would stick to the country that you want to target and pretty much fill everything else and submit it for review for your, for your skill to be live. And that's pretty much how you build an Alexa scale using an API. Thanks for watching.